Aquarius, how we doing? Aquarius, how are we doing, Aquarius? Rumors about this love. What's going on? I got rumors about love. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, you know what? I'm not going to get something to drink to deal with you. What in the fuck in the fuck? I got rumors about this love. And I got somebody here sabotaging it. I got somebody here creating a lot of bullshit, a lot of anxiety and fear and betrayal. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, this person has is really holding a lot of grudges. And it just consumes their mind. It's driving this. The grudges on this person's mind is exhausting. It exhausts me. Five of swords. This person is sabotaging the fuck. Uh, this person does uh, scream a lot. They scream like a fucking banshee. And they um, they cuss. Every other word out of their mouth is cuss word. And this person seems very frazzled. They seem like they talk really fast. And they're always upset. There's always a crisis. I'm always being betrayed. I'm always holding a grudge. This is somebody that really doesn't have anything nice to say about anybody. I'm going to need a drink for this. What is this? Nine of Pentacles. Very concerned about money. Extremely concerned about the wealth. Extremely concerned about the wealth. Queen of Wands. Are you dealing with a Sagittarius person? A lot of rumors here about this um, little love story that's going on with this very beautiful, confident person. Uh, very, this is a person that's known to take action. But why do I have so many rumors? I got a lot of rumors. Yeah, about the success. Um, you know. These rumors about this little love thing. It's, you know, about somebody's success. You know, someone is definitely successful. Beautiful. Confident. Um, but behind your back, I think that there is quite there's something going on behind your back uh a lot of grudges a lot of betrayal um and someone here is not um, their their behavior has changed they're short and they're shitty they seem a little nuts a little cuckoo uh their hours of sleeping has changed they just seem like they're angry a lot they are holding a lot of grudges you know they're holding a lot of grudges there's some rumors going around about loving somebody, but the person that someone's in love with is extremely beautiful, very confident, a leader, and this person is seen in the community. They are well recognized in the community. People know them as being successful, but I got a lot of haters in the background, baby. I do. I got a lot, a lot of haters. I mean, a lot of haters, a lot. These people have nothing nice to say. They're making me rock back and forth like I'm in a fucking nut house. <laughs> Yo, these are haters ha hating on someone's success. Tower, yeah, this in the future. I see something successful, but there's a tower moment on it. And I don't know if this is haters. Yeah, yeah, three of swords on this. There's a rumor going around about some type of love situation. You know, my true feelings, this is, you know, true love. Maybe love at first sight. I don't know. Very beautiful person. If it was a Sagittarius or not. But it was a very beautiful, gorgeous person. But there is a three of swords on it where, um, you know, there's a third party interference here that someone's just stuck on. They're just stuck on it. Not gaining any forward momentum on it. Having a real, real hard time healing from it. Yeah, this person, um, you know, this just feels like jealousy. Honestly, there's somebody here hating hella hard. This person's coming off a little crazy. They got a lot of grudges. Very, uh, not very, there's a betrayal here. And the betrayal is stemming from the third party. They're just having a hell of a hard time getting over that. Um, this person, it doesn't help that this person is extremely attractive. It does not help that this person is being seen in the limelight. Um, this person is a head turner. They are bright. This person does get a lot of attention. They're well known. There's just so much hating going on. Um, 
This person's got a little bit of money now of pentacles. This person is most likely single. Uh, I do see a tower moment here because there's so much competitiveness around this. Competing. You know, six of wands with the sun means I won. I'm happy. And then in the future, I see five of wands. This is competition. This is the competition attacking. And it's a tower moment that I did not see coming. Nine of Pentacles, you know, it's like, I got to figure out what that is. Why? I just have a very single energy here. It's like, there's a tower moment. I, nothing will ever be the same. And I see a competition here. I see a competitor. I see jealousy. I see a lot of things here. Hey, jealousy. Tell me, do you think you would be all right? Or I could just let you know. Yeah, I see the crashing at nighttime. See you on no shame. Yeah, what is all this posting? Somebody here is doing the most on posting. Rumor about this little love thing. Well, love child maybe, because, you know, Ace of Cups could be a new baby. But I do have a rumor here about somebody being in love with a very attractive woman. There's a third party interference on it, and this person is just not gaining any forward moment momentum on it. Um... And someone really wants to post their new successful, that they've won. They want to post that they've won. They're posting it. And they want it to be seen that they won. Seven of Wands to the Six of Wands. But the thing of it is, it's just going downhill. Like in the past, you posted it. Whatever was posted broke this person's heart. I do mean shattered it. Obliterated it. It was posted it was out there for the world to see. This is the woman. This is the man that I love. And it ain't going nowhere. And they wanted people to know that. It ain't going nowhere. They wanted it posted. Seven of Wands to the hangman. That big wand on there. This was the, this cut it. This cut someone loose. You know, he's all bound up there. But you see that big um, knife. I mean, this this frees somebody up. It sure does. And they wanted they wanted to free this person up. That was the goal. That was the goal of the post. Goal post. Somebody, somebody had goal post here. Somebody keeps moving the goal post. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody definitely won. They definitely won the relationship there with their soulmate. This is a big old happy family. Ten of cups, two of cups. They wanted it posted that they were extremely happy. I won. I'm the winner. Who, who? Ten, ten of cups, two of cups. You know, it's a perfect family. Look at us. We're all so happy. I won. Look, I got me a trophy. I got a whole trophy here. A little baby right on top of it. A little cherub. Look at the little ugly baby. I'm sorry. All babies are beautiful. Well, not really. That one there's kind of ugly. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, seriously, shit. Now, don't you agree? Kind of like a little, a little ugly, little ugly baby. A little bobblehead baby. Anyway, um... Yeah, look how happy we are. Look how happy the family is. Look how successful we are. Look at, look, 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 look. And I have a very sabotaging energy here. This person's half fucking nuts. And they're very um, bitter. Um, this is the ultimate betrayal. They're holding a lot of grudges. There's ruminating thoughts about the grudges. And this person is just cussing and carrying on and, and throwing a whole fit behind closed doors. Something here looks really good for the outside world. I mean, really good. This is one hell of a performance behind closed doors because outside, all of this is the outside. You, you notice how this is all outside? See how it's all the pictures are outside, 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 on the street, planting a garden, outside, outside. But do you see how on the inside of things, okay? On the inside of things. Look at this. This is the inside, okay? Behind closed doors, boy, look at this bitch coming out the chimney. I ain't never noticed that before. What the fuck is that? Coming out the... What is that? Is someone... No, 
what that chimney bed is, but there's some there. I got a girl coming down the chimney like a witch. Anyway, um, that's crazy. Um, this person, it's like they're trying to sabotage something, and they're crazy, and they're completely grieved and holding one hell of a grudge. And it's like, I feel like somebody keeps posting something just to do that, just to incite, like everything I post is so someone else sees it. And it's the third party interference. I want it to be known. I want it to be rumored. I want there to be gossip. I want people to know, you know, and that's cool. But it's like, why not just post it? Because you really are happy. This is somebody doing it on purpose just because they want to piss off someone else. That's why they're doing it. Period, 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 period. Every post that they do is for this person. I got her. She's all mine. I got him. He's all mine. We're happy. Behind closed doors, you couldn't convince me of it. All they do is fucking fight about this girl. That's all they do. Or behind closed doors, you couldn't convince me of it because all they do is fight about this dude. That's all they do. And all someone else does is pick on the other person about the love, about their past love. In the recent past, this woman that she was with. That's all they do is pick, 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 pick. Picking at a stab. A stab. Picking at a scab. I do think someone picks. Do they pick their face, pick their nose? They pick on something. They pick on each other. There's a picking issue here. I got a picking problem. Either they're a picker, like they pick, pick, pick on their face, or they're digging at their, they're digging, they're picking. They get nervous. They start picking, 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 picking. They're picking. And I don't like that. It just drives me nuts. Competitive. Why is there so much competition over the money? competition over the money nine of pentacles very single energy very look at me look at all the material things we have and then i have this tower moment towers are not good that is destruction i mean towers towers are meant to upset things towers are going to throw a wrench in all the plans tower is a reveal of secrets tower is a big dramatic change that's going to peg someone down because I have a very competitive spirit here, competitor that was antagonized. So they're going to peg somebody down a notch, two of them to be exact, because it's nine, nine of pentacles to the seven. So this is a competition on money. Someone wants the competition to know how much of it they have. They want them to know all the gifts that I've recently, look at what they've bought me. Look, look at my new ring. Look at my earrings. Look, 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 look. It's just being shoved in someone's face so much. But on the other end of this coin, I mean, you're not, you're not forced to look. Somebody here is looking. Stop looking. In my opinion, stop fucking looking. You won't see it. But that's what I'm looking at. Somebody here is posting something. And it's just to upset the other person. I, I, you know, this is somebody that's just doing it just, just to get that end result. And it's to peg someone down. I want to peg them down to size. Four of wands. Is there, this is somebody's house. This is someone's home. So you have the two of cups there with the family. That's soulmates, right? Um, it does look very karmic. Uh, it's a very toxic situation. The Ten of Swords, the Five, the Nine. Um, that's that's a very, it's a soulmate. You know, I'm going to say that we have a lot of soulmates in our life. Family, friends, family, parents, kids, romantic partners. That's what I see going on here. Okay. Now, in the future, or no, I'm sorry, not in the future. In the future of that scenario, I do see someone being shocked or there is a change of plans or revealing secrets or something. I don't fucking know. I do see, ooh, okay. I see someone here flying off the fucking handle in communication and talking about this uh, lover situation contract. I see someone very upset communicating to another lover or to, you know, to, 
you know, lovers are uh, not soulmates. Lovers are the twin flame thing. You know, this is the person that I that I love. You know, this isn't just a relationship of family. This is, you know, where the heart is. Page of Pentacles. What are y'all doing with this fucking one-upping thing? I'm trying to one-up Page. See how he's got the one? That's one dollar. One dollar. And you see how he's holding it up? Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody here is just very focused on someone's home. They're very, very focused on someone's home. And they're very busy at home. Very busy at home. Very busy at home. Very focused on the home. Very focused on the home. Very focused at the home. Really focusing on the details of the home. Very busy at home. Very busy. Wheel of Fortune. Something here is just a matter of time. It's going two of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune, which does look like Ace of Pentacles to me. It's the Wheel of Fortune. But it looks like two of Pentacles to the Ace. Do you get what I'm saying? Something here is building momentum. There's a lot of focus being put on something. I do see someone here kind of meditating at home, really focused on something. And they're trying to overcome some type of challenging conversation that took place between this lover's connection. And with the wheel of fortune, it is, wow, that is so loud, the feedback. I get the ringing, and the ringing is so loud. So a lot of times when you have spiritual activity around you and they talk, they don't talk at the same frequency. That and when I hear it, it sounds like feedback on a mic. You understand? Um, at any rate, the wheel of fortune. Something here. This communication is just a matter of time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this? Ooh. Uh oh. Because I got a whole twin flame thing, and then I got soulmate here. What the fuck? It's a matter of time before somebody here messages the other person. It's a matter of time. I do see a small invite, like a date or something. And someone is either going to bump into this person out in public, bump into them on the street. Uh, I do see a direct message coming to someone. Direct. It's like, I got to overcome this challenge in communication that's going on. And I do see it being a matter of time before this person is uh, contacting someone. You know, it's a lot of twos. Two of cups, two of pentacles, the lovers is two people. Uh, you got a lot of one, two, one, two. Is this thing on? One, two, one, two. Is it, is it anybody here? Can you hear me now? Yeah. There's a challenge in communication. I don't know why that is. Uh, could be several reasons like, you know, my phone don't get service or, uh, you know, there's been obstacles in how we communicate, definitely, you know. We've, what is that, what, what is that movie? Oh my God. We got a failure to communicate here. What is that movie? I don't know. If you know, let me know. Anyway, death card. Uh-oh. So, oh. Something going on with the home. Someone's been very focused on the home, very focused on changing the home. Very focused on ending the home. I don't know. Very focused on a death at the home. You have Scorpio energy there, death card. Relationship here. Somebody here is really focused on um, changing something. Okay? They're very focused on ending something and changing something. It's like I want to end something. I was very focused here. I'm trying to shift gears. And I do see them being successful at it because death is ending. It's like, um, okay, if you want this to change, if that's what you really want here. And I do see some angels whispering in the background of it. You get what I'm saying? Someone here is very focused on ending something. Someone here is very focused on changing something. Ten of Wands. This is a matter of time and it is stressful. It's a stressful event. There definitely could have been death in the recent past. It has made the environment more intense. The environment has become more stressful. Um, someone here is very easily triggered. This is somebody that is kind of nasty on the telephone. They're kind of short, kind of shitty. Um, they're easily angered when they communicate. 
goodness. There is a small invitation to go out somewhere. Can I, can I meet you somewhere for coffee? Because I do see the uh, cup there and it's broad daylight. This is like lunchtime hours. Can I meet you somewhere? Um, seems like a nice day. Definitely could be outside, maybe not. Could be inside, you know, an inside outside place. Maybe even an apple cider event or something. Beer, there's a, maybe a keg there. I don't know. But there, I do see drinking. Can we, get a, can we get a drink? Um, this is stressful. You know, I do think in the recent past, something did end. There was a relationship here that someone was highly focused on, and then it just ended. Just like that. And I'm, you know, I'm pissed off about it. Pissed off about this communication. I'm, and this is a matter of time. It's been building. It's been building momentum. Ten of Wands, it's becoming harder and harder and harder. Uh, I see a small invitation here. Meet me for a drink. Um, I see the hangman in a challenge position, meaning someone's having a really hard time moving on, moving forward with life. You know, I'm just struggling. Um, struggling. I, uh, can we meet? Can we talk over this? I'm trying to see your perspective. I just want to get your thoughts. I'm trying to pick your brain. What's all the picking about? I want to pick you. Yeah, I want to pick at you. Somebody might go out on a date with somebody just to pick on them, just to see if there's, just to see if they still have a stronghold. They want to see if they still have a stronghold or if you've moved on. That's what I'm seeing. Here's the talk. It's very small. This is small talk. Again, with the ones and the twos. One, one, two, two. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Mic check. I do see a mic check here. Check, please. I see things haven't changed. I, I just let you know, I'm being honest. I see because hangman in the challenge position would tell me I'm having a real hard time getting this thing off the ground. There's something here that this person does not see eye to eye on, okay? Um... Someone here is trying to move forward. You know, I really want to move past this. I really want to overcome this challenge. I want to move past this issue that we're having. You know, it's getting harder. And I do see the talk. I see the conversation. It does look like a serious conversation. But it's it's like small talk at first is what I'm saying. Small talk. In a quiet, can we go somewhere quiet? Can I talk to somebody? Let's talk to somebody in, quiet, in private, in hermit. I see someone in a public place and it's like I need to take this person somewhere else where it is quieter you may they may take this person down to a river to a place or a body of water where it's just those two people and they are now in a private place where there's no distractions there's no need to uh, keep your low, voice low you know what I'm saying it's just us out here and they want to talk about the sneaky lying, cheating stuff and how it made someone feel. They're talking about, they're talking alone in private. This is a very private conversation. And Seven of Swords, this is, um, they're addressing the lies, the cheating, the schemingness, you know. And Four of Cups, it's like, I'm really sorry. Some, this is an apology. Four of Cups, I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I cheated. You know, Four of Cups, or excuse me, Page of Cups to the four is five. Uh, even if I go with it the other way and I take it down to a three, that's a third party. You know, it's been me, you, it's you, me, and Dupree up in here. Because I got two lovers here. Two lovers. Lovers and friends. I do see friends here. I see two friends meeting for a drink. Two friends having lunch. Two people separated. Two, 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 two. Didn't we have that in another reading for you? The whole, all the gun stuff? Pop, pop, pop. You got twos, man. You got a lot of twos. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Can I talk to you in private? Somebody here is showing hesitation to go as well. 
because there's some type of uh, sneakiness. It's like I got to sneak to meet this person alone. Um, I do see an apology here. You know, I do see an apology here. Um, this could be like for closure, you know, so I can move on, you know, so I can move on. Can I just want to have this conversation because I, you know, I'm seeing two of cups, page of cups. Uh, it's, you know, it's, then we go to four of cups. It's, um, whatever this relationship is, soulmate. Can we talk in private? I'm sorry. Sorry for the lies. Sorry for cheating. Sorry for making you feel so alone hermit card i really um i really isolated you from a lot there's a lot you don't know somebody also wants to tell tell them some things that maybe they don't know so that they have a better understanding because there was a really challenging dialogue with this person they really had trouble expressing themselves finding the right words um a lot of pregnant pauses and then this person kind of gets angry there's a lot of angry dialogue between these two counterparts and it was a matter of time because things were, the stress was just building and building and building. Um, where am I at with time? You know, I don't know if I really believe in the whole closure scam. I just really don't, I don't, I, I don't, you know, I to me, you're just kind of testing the waters to see if there's anything still there, in my opinion. You know, the closure thing is I miss you. I just want an excuse to see you. And I'm going to say closure. That way, if I get rejected, then I only wanted to get closure. You know, I want to see how you've been doing. But if there's a chance that the door hasn't closed, well, then I've already got a foot in. You get what I'm trying to say? That's how it feels anyway. That's how I've perceived closure. Now, I could be wrong. Every situation is different. Maybe the closure is just that. But you have to understand, when you go in there and you say, I'm just looking for closure, you've already sent the signal to the other person that you don't, you're not looking, you're not looking for, uh, to reconcile this. You're not looking to fix this, which, t which puts the other person on guard. So do not conceal your, uh, your intentions there because you're going to fuck yourself from, from jump. You fucked yourself. You, you basically put all your cards on the table. Listen, I don't want this to move in a, in a, uh, romantic direction. I, I just want, this is a friendly visit. I want to be upfront with you right now. I, I don't, I don't want this to be romantic. And you're making that clear. So you've made, don't, and don't conceal your intentions to protect your ego and your pride in case of rejection. You know, it's better off it, just to be vulnerable and say, just, you don't need to explain why you want to meet. If they say no, they said no. There's no need to explain why you want to meet. If you're the one, you know, if you're the one reaching out on this communication, if not, um, all I can say is if someone reaches out to you and they tell you off jump that this is a closure meeting, you know, to me, it just sounds like somebody up to their old tricks with this five of fucking sore shit and they just want to play games because I struggle with that closure technique. To me, you're trying to protect your ego and you haven't changed a whole lot. How sorry are you if you still, if you're still having trouble being honest. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my goodness. Four of cups, three of swords. Yeah, this is a facade. It's a facade. This person is extremely sad. This is sad. Heartbroken. Strength card is being stoic. And faking it till I make it. So when I when you when you see this person, they're hiding the heartbreak. They're hiding the sadness. They put on a very brave face, and they they appear very strong and very stoic. That's you know I mean I get it. You have to fake it till you make it, especially if you can't do anything to repair it. And someone has left you. It's like okay, well that's what it is. But you know I just see this. Yeah, look, I'm so sad, and there's grudges. There is a betrayal in the recent past. It keeps coming out for you. Someone here is sorry. They are sorry. There is betrayal and there is grudges. And I need help. I am beside myself. I am holding a grudge. Um, there is a betrayal here and this person is pissed. 
this person is struggling with sadness. They're struggling. Uh, they're up. They're pissed. They're mad. They're angry. They're holding a serious grudge. Three of Swords. They're, they're heartbroken. They feel like they've been stolen from. They feel like there was a third party interference that, you know, and, and this person's mad. They're upset. They're upset. They are hurt. They are hurt and they are angry. And they are holding a grudge. They feel like they were betrayed. Five of Pentacles, the sun. Sorry if I look dirty. I got a wood stove. I got two of them. They fucking, they just make all my stuff dirty. Um, and I am in my room. What is that? Strength? Yeah, this person just feels like they've been left out in the cold. And... They've been left out. They were walked out on. And it's cold. It was very cold. What you did was cold. What someone did was cold. What you did was cold. And it looks like someone here moved on. And it's nice and warm where this person is. And this person here was left out in the cold. And it's like, fuck me. I'll just, I'll be okay. I'll be, yeah, I got it. I got it. Can I, hey, another Jack and Coke over here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a double? Yes, triple. That would be great. Thanks. Yeah, it's like, I got to do some way to warm up here. You've left me out in the cold. Like, someone here is doing their best to overcome some financial difficulties as well. This person struggled uh, with finan finances. And I do think that that will come out to light. This person's trying to be very disciplined, very thrifty about money. And I do think it's a, a characteristic that both people share because both people are here. And it's like, no, I'm with you. Like, we can get the fuck out of here. I'm not here to spend a bunch of money either. You get what I'm saying? I do think it's, it, this person will have to swallow their pride. They're going to have to swallow their pride. To come in from the cold. They will. And to, to get out of this cold and to get this thing uh, to where both parties are happy again. You know, I got to kind of put my ego to the side. And that's really hard to do because this person here has a lot of pride. But if they want to come out, if they want to come out from the cold. And they want this thing to build some heat. This is what's necessary. But right now I have someone very angry and heartbroken. And they feel betrayed. And there's a lot of grief on it. I mean, a lot. I got some of the worst cards here. I really do. To have the, I only got, what, eight cards out here? Two, four, six, seven cards. Out of seven cards, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Five of them suck. Dick. Bad. They suck. You know, four cups sucks. Ten of swords, awful. Three of swords, awful. Knight of swords sucks. Five of Pentacles sucks. There's nothing, I have nothing nice to say. Other than someone's really going to have to swallow their pride here. Put their ego to the side if they want to come out of the cold on this. And both people, both people warm up. Both people will warm up. But it's going to require some discipline and maturity. It's going to require some maturity here. It's going to require vulnerability. And vulnerability is not the strong suit of this person. It's not. This person has an ego. They have pride to protect. And it's going to require them to swallow it. Oh, yeah. Something going on in a line of work. Somebody here works together with someone. King of Pentacles. They work together with this person. This comes up for you a lot, King of Pentacles. Um... Knight of Swords, really trying to overcome some things. Um, there's anger issues here, bad. Knight of Swords with the Nine of Swords. I mean, this person is like heartbroken, angry, and like go home and kick the dog. Like I'm mad at everybody, and I'm just hitting a fucking brick wall here. I just want to be alone. I just I don't got nothing. I ain't really got no rap for nobody. I don't want to talk right now. I don't want to talk right now. I ain't a rap. I've had a hard day. I've had a hard day. Can you get off my ass? I've had a hard day at work, you know? 
I, I've been at work all day. I've had a hard day. That ain't why. That ain't why. That's not why. Yeah, they're lying. Ace of Swords and in the reverse. Ace of Swords in a challenge position. This person does have trouble communicating their real feelings. Um, they do. Uh, you do have Ten of Swords to the Ace in the future, meaning there's a fear here that this is just going to be a disaster. This is going to be ruined. It's going to be devastating. I'm going to get angry. They're going to get angry. We're both heartbroken. Um, someone possibly did ask someone for advice. And they did work together here with, you know, maybe somebody to work with. And there's a third party energy. Both people were kind of, you know, like, this is somebody having a conversation. And it's like, yeah, I understand why you're angry. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Like, this is two people angry. And hurt and sad. And it's like I got some people here working together. You wanna fight? You wanna fight it out or what? You wanna fight? That yeah, we can do that. You wanna fight? And this just becomes a disaster. Um, in the future, if somebody goes in here, like I, this is what the prediction is, if this continues, somebody goes in here with this big wall up, big wall up to protect my ego, my pride. I was left outside in the cold. You look like you're having a great time out in the sun. The whole sun thing is a lie. That's a lie. Somebody here does need to break, uh, drop the illusions. Drop the lies, drop the mask, drop the pride, drop, drop it. Or this will be ruined. This whole attempt was for nothing. And it will end up just like that. Two people arguing and nothing being resolved. Pride still in the way. Uh... Something coming to light here about somebody's finances. They're fucking, it's a disaster. It's ruined. It's been a shit show. It's required a lot of strength, a lot of discipline, and I'm really struggling right now. I guess you're happy to hear that, huh? Are you, and like, no, fuck no. Why would I be happy to know that you're, that you're in ruin? Why? Why would I be happy with that? does come to light here about somebody lying some of the illusions are lifted a lot of stuff comes to light here but it's going to require again i don't want to keep repeating myself it's going to require somebody to drop the fucking mask and drop the show drop drop the stoic parade drop it and be honest ace of swords and reverse is not being honest you go there with these fucking lies acting like everything's great everything's great 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 it's great no money's great everything's great family's good good it's just gonna ruin you're gonna ruin it's gonna be a disaster it's gonna be a disaster both people are, are going to put their walls up. Both people are going to have their defenses up. It's like, why the fuck did I come here if you just want to tell me that everything's great for you? You know what I mean? Like, the fuck? I guess they really do want closure. Cool. Well, I'm glad to see that you left me for someone better and it's going great. King of Swords. This is your energy. Comp competing. King of Swords competing. Entrepreneur. Uh, five of Wands is competition and conflict. Queen of Swords with this bitch. Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like, I ain't, I'm not going to compete with this bitch. That's where this is going. King of Swords. Scholar educated men. Conflict. Competition. Queen of Swords reverse. I have someone. I, bitch, listen, bitch. I'm not competing with you. You can check the facts. Check the facts. Check car facts, bitch. I'm not going to compete with you. You're nasty. You're revengeful. All you want to do is compare and compete, and I ain't down with that. Have a good day. I don't know. And then, look, go home sad. Go home sad, sulk, stress out with family. You know, go just stay, sit on the fucking couch then. Well, it's going to be a matter of time because this lover's thing with the hierophant, this is a God thing. So, I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. I can only read cards for you. Okay, and it's going too long. I got all the stuff to do, but I hope that helps you. Um, I'm going to do Aries next. Take care.